Feel free to ask at any time to interrupt me. I know that this is pretty, pretty much a part of the descriptive part of the thing, so there is not very much actually to ask maybe, but uh, feel free to, and please ask. If you say, can you repeat please? Uh, that will be my maximum uh, of, of, of ideas. Okay, you use just songs in this. Uh, the day before a uh, uh, <laughs> school like this, obviously, I full of works because you didn't take too care of it, a lot of details, and uh, I, I, I hope that you forgive us for what we are missing. Uh, what is uh, when we will work with uh, OMS? We will go. Uh, we will have some folders in our computer. Uh, and, and it is called the uh, uh, working space of uh, of um, OMS. And there are four directories that are necessary. Uh, these four directories. One is simulations. Uh, one is data. One is output, and one is distribution. This. Actually, in the core of OMS, everything is configurable. So we could do hacking a little bit in the code. We can change it directly to our thing. Uh, but uh, uh, for the standard user, it's better to work. <coughs> we all work with this. Even the developer, the, the, the fundamental developer of all this stuff, which is Olaf David, of our college, of um, Colorado State University, used those things when, when he, he used it. Uh, in simulation, we have several types of simulation. Today, we mainly see, or only see, the dot sim simulation. And the real goal, though, this dot sim simulation, which is the core of the next presentation, are groovy files. Uh, OMS is uh, uh, designed to uh, use a, a subset of a, a certain language which, which is called Groovy. We don't need to learn. <laughs> we don't, uh, just to, uh, but uh, it can exploit all the capabilities of Groovy. A subset which is a DSL, a, a domain specific language developed just for OMS which is uh, used for scheduling the uh, simulation. The normal simulation is in dot C. We have other type of simulation that were built uh, during the years. Uh, one is uh, dot LUCA. LUCA stands for let us calibrate. Uh, it is uh, when you do calibrations of, uh, we will uh, 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 try to, to see what is a uh, the problem of calibration in two days, three days maybe. And, uh, uh, and so uh, we will see also how it is done in Luca file. Then uh, for their uh, own uh, work, uh, USDA also uh, did some other things, which is uh, ESP. We is ESP is our simulation that uh, my group, I think, never used. People present here never use. They don't know what it is. <laughs> so, no, it is a, a doing ensemble simulation for a flood forecasting. At a certain moment, for understanding how much is uh, the, the variability you can have uh, in, the, in the flood forecasting, you can use several systems. One system is to use uh, uh, one model or a few variation of the models with uh, different parameters and you built uh, an ensemble of uh, a group of simulation that give uh, slightly different results. And from the spread they have in the forecasting, you understand which is the type of errors that you can have in, in the forecasting. <laughs> we don't touch that part though. Data. Data, uh, you say CSV means comma separated values. Uh, CSV is a standard format for uh, 
presenting tabular data or and the LMS has its own uh, tabular data um, format that we will so la see later today maybe and uh, they are expected to be in the data <coughs> in the data directory uh, we can use any type of data as input uh, in this moment uh, we uh, use for instance uh, for some of the models we do we use uh, netcdf which is an, another format for input data you can have your own format of, of csv but this part the uh, oms csv has implemented some uh, routine some component inside for reading this component other input data that we use in this school will be uh, uh, .a, uh, .asg which means a grid ASCII file for uh, representing um, um, maps mm -hmm. or da raster data <laughs> for the GIS front of view and uh, we will al also have uh, .shp shape files which means vectorial data that we can treat and learn. Now our program try to use those formats for, for doing you, We can use also actually other formats like TIFF G or GeoTIFF, but uh, so far we, also, we usually use the, the, um, the ASCII, the, the text files, the readable file. And you potentially after this school, if you want to go deeper in, in the these things you can develop your reader for your data and so there you can put all whatever you want and output the same story for uh, story for output in output you can have uh, whatever the data you need there is in particular one type of data which is the OMS type uh, of CSU with, for which we also have a reader and writer there is no okay, there is no potential connection to database or other than or or, 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 or web service to get the input uh, data. Uh, there is a, a, a we uh, we sometimes it it in, in some application that we did uh, we uh, we did also um, reading from the database, for instance from uh, SQL SQLite. And uh, uh, in another case, from uh, Postgres data. But we did the reader uh, by, by ourselves. The, what the, is provided for standard in this, mo in, in this moment is just G the G CSV that we are using and the, those data that uh, I, I mentioned. But there is no problem because once you build your components, Obviously, you have to put on the hands-on Java, for instance, and uh, for build a, a, a tool that reads from Java and then transform in whatever uh, in whatever way you want. And uh, uh, this the this trend from distribution is uh, uh, that there are uh, uh, let's say two parts in. Uh, any of these OMS programs. One is the core part of the of the framework that manage the uh, that manage the the simulation. That part is written in a very uh, interesting Java, let's say, because it uses uh, a lot of uh, uh, I don't know. Are you a Java programmer? No, I'm not. But my surname is Java. Uh, yes, that's I know. <laughs> <laughs> You should then be in council. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a master's in uh, computer science. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Programming in Java means almost nothing uh, in, in the sense uh, in the in the sense that there are a, a lot of way of programming in Java, and uh, and there are a lot of features that are available from uh, from the 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 libraries that are present in, in the in the OMS, the core of OMS is a particularly abstract <laughs> Java. And uh, we could be a very nice exercise to read the to read the core of it for one that 
would be a fully completed Java program. But most of the things is this ja other JAL or DLL or EXE or, uh, or even EXE file, meaning a uh, file that provide a particular library. Uh, all the stuff that we do are uh, the library we develop inside the GeoFrame framework, which is our group of, uh, of work, and uh, they are provided usually as Java. And so if you c come out, for instance, we come out with a new release, for instance, of a, of a certain <coughs> Uh, on the certain task, you can just download our jar file from the from the repository and drag and drop inside the distribution file, and everything should work. Jar is the executable, executable executable for the Java file. Sorry. What is the difference between ESP and Luca? Uh, Luca contains a, a, cali a, a for calibration. file for calibration. Just change in the actual file, uh, simulation file, just a few lines change. We will see both uh, uh, Sim and uh, Luca. We will never see ESP. ESP is uh, just a it, it doesn't do calibration. It just repeats a lot of time, different. It is obviously similar at the core because it, uh, the main, the, uh, any calibrator has two core uh, actions. One is to uh, repeat a lot of time at the same simulation, and, and the other is to understand which parameters are good. Mm -hmm. That's for it, it, that's in synthesis what uh, if a calibrator is, and. Uh, ESP doesn't do the second job, meaning it just run the parameters in the certain range, but it doesn't say tell you what uh, which are the best. You just visualize all of them. Uh, the distribution for that we contain also Python libraries. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the distribution uh, folder can contain also Python libraries. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you mm -hmm. can add any. This is the minimum set. Okay. This is, let's say, the minimum order of set of, uh, of uh, we, then we add other, uh, I am saying in the last slides. Okay, more or less, I, I already told here of what I am saying in these slides, which is a simulation uh, file. So you just read it the next time, which is the data file, and what is the output, fi output file. Uh, uh, output file also uh, uh, can be mentioned because you can have different output strategies that, uh, and we'll see today uh, managed by the, the system that can you uh, create different subfolders inside the folder. Okay, distribution is things. As you, uh, uh, as uh, Christian uh, asked just uh, uh, just few minutes uh, minutes ago, uh, you can have uh, other directory. Usually, in, in our things, we can see also builds, docs, and source. These are uh, not necessary in themselves. Uh, in the docs, you, we put documentations, and we put also the notebooks, for instance, at present. <coughs> and uh, in the source, the, sometimes you can, uh, with the console, with the Java console, uh, with the OMS console, sorry, we can also compile directly, uh, write some Java code inside the console, usually simpler Java code because it's not an ID, um, a very complicated ID, so, so you cannot write complex programs in the console. But you can write single component, uh, simple components, if you know Java, and uh, and then uh, compile them. In this case, the build stores in builds. So you have uh, also things over there. And uh, that's more or less the, the things. Uh, there is also a, a configuration file, which usually <coughs> is called ms3.conf. And uh, it contains two lines of comments 
And uh, okay, this is a uh, castle. The guy, the guy who did the, the things, and uh, as you can see here, he was doing uh, simula ESP simulations, meaning has ensemble simulations. And uh, here you have also JWM option. JWM is the Java Virtual Machine uh, because. Uh, uh, OMS is based on Java, use the Java virtual machine, and you have to be, uh, to have installed, not just actually the Java virtual, uh, the, the uh, run execution. Uh, the, you have to, to have installed the JDK, the Java developer um, environment, not ju just the runtime environment. And here you have to, two commands for the Java virtual machine and uh, assigning 128 uh, megabytes and 266 megabytes to this run. So two different, uh, different parts of the, of the run. So <coughs> to the configuration file, you can uh, uh, make it work the Java machine the way you, you want. Uh, for who doesn't know the Java virtual machine is a, 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 a machine that hides the real hardware of the computer. Either it is a, a Macintosh, a, 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 even it is a, a Windows computer or one using Linux, in hide the hardware and the software actually, and give a common way to execute the program. So the motto, the initial, the initial motto of Java was uh, write once, run everywhere. It's not exactly like this, but uh, this is provided by the fact that the Java, Java virtual machine simulates a, a, a computer inside your computer that hides all the complexity of the hardware and the software. So your code run everywhere where there is a, a Java virtual machine. Potentially also on your on your Android Android uh, cellular phone, if you tweak enough the, the things. So that's more or less what we have to know about uh, the the configuration of the of, of how the SIM file it is. Now we go inside the more more complex thing. Mm -hmm.